What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Calcio Review. I'm Alberto. Got all your Serie A news for the day. All right, we're going to take a look at a new target for Chelsea coming out of Serie A. We'll look at what the name is. A coaching carousel that could happen in the summer. Manchester United kick up their press for Glaison Bremer. And some key injuries that could affect Atalanta going into the resume of play in Serie A. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. This is the Calcio Review. Now let's get into it. Chelsea, we have known for a long time, has had a ton of interest in Napoli striker Victor Osimhen and that is being tipped as his landing spot come the summer. But now they're also being linked with another player out of Serie A, and that is Bella Nova, who was on display for the Azzurri against Ecuador yesterday and put on a good showing for himself. And now he is drawing interest out of the Premier League with Chelsea said to be interested as well as Arsenal, all right? So very, very interesting to see what will happen for Bellanova. In terms of Milan, they could be getting ready to say some goodbyes as you have Giroud getting a formal offer from LAFC out of MLS, all right? And apparently Milan is starting to prepare themselves for life after Giroud because they're starting to eye up some targets in the position. But they're also keeping tabs on their 16-year-old sensation, Francesco Camarda, who is drawing interest of clubs like Dortmund and Manchester City, all right? But right now, all the reports are very consistent that there is a principal agreement between club and player for the extension. So obviously, all the Milan fans are going to be keeping tabs on what happens with Francesco Camarda. Meanwhile, around both of these clubs, Napoli and Milan, you are hearing a lot about potential coaching changes. Pioli, all of a sudden, though, the tune has changed and he could very much well remain at Milan. It is anybody's guess what's going to happen. For both these sides, one of the names they're linked with as a potential coaching change is Antonio Conte, but it has been largely rumored that Conte has already turned down Napoli at one point this season, but Milan could be a landing spot for the ex-Inter and Juventus boss. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there, but a lot of changes could be coming in Serie A this summer. As far as Juventus, some potential changes for them. Apparently they're in pole position to land Calafiori from Bologna, all right? And as far as their property, Glaison Bremer. He has been the subject of a lot of rumors coming from Manchester United search for a center back and the latest report suggests that there's a 58 million euro release clause for the defender that Manchester United is going to tackle and bring in the summer now here we go for me I'm not buying it. I never bought it for one second that Juve would have a 58 million euro release clause on Glaison Bremer, who they purchased for 44 million in total from Torino, all right? We can't be that bad at business. My God, all right? But Mirko Di Natale, who is highly credible around Juventus News, brings us this just the other day that he can find absolutely no confirmations on any release clause for Glaison Bremer. It still remains around the same for him, and that is a value of somewhere around 70 to 90 million euros to get Juventus to sell Glaison Bremer. For me, I'd even go a little bit higher and say I'd go for 120 before I even sit down at the table. Let's see. What happens with Manchester United's press for Glaison Bremer? And now, last, certainly not least, we've got some injuries coming out of the international break. And Atalanta affected potentially in a very, very brutal scenario for them as they've got a big clash on Saturday with Napoli and De Catalare and Coupe Mainers both Highly in doubt. De Catalere suffering from a muscular problem, getting sent back from Belgium. He is essentially being monitored on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as Coupe Mainers, who took a knock and had to be substituted from a Netherlands game. So, all eyes on these guys for Atalanta as they get ready for a big, big game against Napoli with major implications around European spots in the table, all right? And that wraps up your news break. You guys know the drill. Hit me in the comments with everything you think on the news you just heard. Let's mix it up. Don't don't forget to like the video, follow the channel, and share the content as we start to grow the Calcio Review, all right? So again, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Take care.